Now, has anyone counted? Has any? Have we? Has anyone counted the number of lights in the tunnel to make sure it's correct? 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. Now, I'm going to suggest something potentially stupid here. Can I take a new set of everything now? And the reason I say this is because it's a sprint race weekend. And I know, I know it's Monaco, but like, I could, we've got five fresh gearboxes. And I feel like when you're at a sprint race weekend with a car that should score some points in both sessions, I feel like you just, you, you take the new gearbox. We've still got three more for later and take a new engine. It's not going to be as stressed at Monaco anyway. I probably won't do that with ER, the ERS components, but I just feel like we're within the regulation amounts, and with it being a sprint race, points are important to secure early, and it, it's a heavily weighted session. So with that in mind, you know, let's take a fresh engine and a fresh gearbox. So we're within our allocation. It's the start of the year anyway. I, f I feel like it could be dumb. You know, if we crash into the wall, I look like a mug, and I'm sure Harrison will leave this bit in the video. If we don't hit the wall throughout the whole weekend, I look like a genius. It sounds like a high-stakes gamble that people enjoy me suffering as a result of. Does anyone else feel like certain... Oh, mix coming out. I feel like certain races at certain parts of the air are just a bit of RNG when it comes to quality about just not hitting traffic. Less so in the later sessions, I will say. Also, Bashir, no traffic ahead of him. Fantastic news to the believers. As for our boy here in Albon, he has got a wild Mick Schumacher who did block us, you might remember, in Miami. Anyone remember that? I remember it. My screams of Mick are probably etched in the minds of my neighbours. We've actually met him in the tunnel there. That is probably the best spot you could meet someone at Monaco. I'm, I'm not actually that mad about it. For sure, I don't think we'll catch Mick before the end of his lap. So this is looking like a good start. Obviously, we're not going out here when the track's at its most grippy, but in terms of just completely avoiding traffic, especially because we're now like three minutes into the session there or thereabouts and only four cars are on track, it's going to get busy later. This, is, I'm going to say it quietly, this is looking quite tremendous. Could be, could be a jinx. Could be. A, uh, it looks quite tremendous. Albon crosses the line. That. What was that? A 108. That's a really good time, I think. Albon got a faster sector than uh, Verstappen through sector two. How is Pacher going to do here through the final sector? Not faster than Albon, but not a million miles away. That feels like quite a good lap for both drivers. Where's Verstappen going to place himself here? I expect him to be faster. He should be faster. Three thousandths faster. I don't think we're going out again here. Eh? I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're going out again here. Eh? I think that's great. How much slower is Mick going to be than us, by the way? That is embarrassing, isn't it? Can we all agree that that is, that is embarrassing? Even if the track grips up, I think we're fine. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. We need to save tyres. Sprint race weekend. Even if we tumble down a little bit, I just don't see the Hazes or the Hugo Bosses or the Salbers having the pace. There's still half a second off us with all this traffic. I mean, look how busy it is right now. Like, this is... There's people on in-laps, people on out-laps. It's an absolute shambles. The track has got grip here. That is something to consider. And good news, Pacher's through. No nonsense. Great first session at Monaco. We went out early. Track wasn't optimal then. Obviously, plenty more sessions to go. It's all right and easy money like Joe's outqualified. It's not done yet, son. There's two, there's two more sessions. There's two more sessions. Uh, we got in the used tyres for a set run, I think, first. If no one leaves the pit lane now, we are on for clean laps again. We, we are going to get a nice, early, clean running on both drivers. Things you love to see. As for Joe, he is further up the road... Who's he catching? Is it Leclerc on an outlap? It's Leclerc on an outlap. Lecle Leclerc is vibing. If he could block, that would be great. Leclerc? Charlie Leclerc. My friend. Mon ami. Just block him in the chicane. That would be good. Don't move out of the way in the tunnel. The tunnel's a good spot to catch him. Yeah, no, 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 yeah just pull across now. Pull across. And he's probably fine. He definitely is fine. He's definitely not lost time there. But share fastest through sector one. Mummy, get the camera. We'll go on board with Pacher. We'll see Albon just up the road here. Joe, 
first and fastest through sector two. Be concerning if he wasn't the fastest, considering he's the first through it. Albon's going to steal it off him. Bashir's going to steal it off him next. The poo is flying. The poo is flying. I repeat, this is not a drill. He's in his zone. He's vibing. No traffic. No worries. Purple through sector one. Purple through sector two, of course. Not, none of the fast cars out yet. Joe's still faster than Albon through that final sector. Bashir might have just pulled out a good lap. Oh my word, that is, okay. that's good, that's good, that's, you know what, we'll go out again on fresh softs at the end of the, the lap, but in terms of getting in your banker, that's, do I even need to go out on a set fresh set here, I know the Ferrari, uh, the Red Bulls are a second quicker, I think we're past faster than the McLarens with that time, I think we're faster than the Sauber, it's probably a, an unnecessary risk to take isn't it? I'm just thinking about the fact we've got a sprint race coming up. If I use another set of softs here, I would have one set of softs for the sprint and one set of softs for the race. Which is probably fine. Thing is, depending on when you go out, you're almost always going to hit some traffic here now. Because there's lots of people out of sync. I think I'm going to go now. I've not reconfigured Pesher's car. Go, Tayo. Chat, why is it doing... Is it doing the... It's doing the thing, in it? It's doing the thing where I have to increase the number, then lower the number. Why? This is a really stupid bug that exists in the game. Okay. Well, that is really annoying for the believers. If that comes back to cost us, I'm sorry. Sometimes in game, this weird thing happens where the car just isn't fueled. It's not too late for Pesher. Pesher's good here to get around. In fact, he might have timed it to perfection. He's got Magnussen behind him right at the end here. But we're not going to move out the way for him, I assume. We shouldn't be moving out the way from him. Bechere's got a really good run here. Oh my, okay. Bechere, I could have. he could not be in a more optimal spot. Meanwhile, over at Alex Albon HQ, he's going faster. He needs to get a time on the board here that's better. He doesn't, oh, he does improve, but not by much. Loads of clean air for Pesher here, which is great. But to be honest, he doesn't really need to go out now. I could abandon the lap, I think. Call the car and save the tyres. Doesn't need to be out here. We're good. We're Gucci. We're done. Joe's on a flying lap, but you know what? Getting through the session's the main aim. Getting through the session, we are going to do both cars through. Q2 and Monaco. That is, I want to say it's unexpected. This is quite good. We're going to get DRS off Max Verstappen. It's a 200 IQ play. Albon, follow him. Act like you belong. We have some of the best DRS effectiveness. And we're, we're in a conga. Although there's now people going out on laps, including Norris and Leclerc, which is slightly concerning. And Joe, he could have the last laugh here, chat. This is, this is concerning. This is not a good place to hit a driver. Like, oh, God. Okay, Albon definitely was compromised there. He's still not moved out the way. Joe, mate. Jo He's taken the bike, Lenny, here. He has taken the royal piss. I'm... F uh, you know what? I feel like it's all fair in Love and War now. But there's not even time to go out again, is there? This is it. This is it. We're done. There are times. Joe has mugged off both our drivers at once. The only saving grace would be if we could block him back. But we're not improving. We're not going to go better. The best we can hope for is 6th and 8th. Norris is on his lap. Is Norris improving is what I'm wondering. He is. Joe has not improved through the first sector. And he's now behind a Pacher. And now he's got a wild out. Alex, don't move out the way, mate. Prove a point. Be, be bitter. Be bitter. Block him. Norris finishes his lap. Doesn't improve. Joe has a chance here to knock our drivers down. He's the only person who can knock our drivers down. In the battle for fourth in the championship between ourselves and Aston Martin, a new chapter has been written here. Is Joe going to improve enough? He had a good sector two. Sector three was clean. And he has smashed Pesher down to ninth. There is going to be an Aston Martin sandwich between the Williams. It's a good session for us. Would have hoped for a bit more, but there's a sprint race to come and a whole lot can change.
<laughs> okay, it's time to get going. It's the Monaco Sprint. So let's get to it. The Monaco Sprint. I've, I've said that a bit crafty, mate. You're just repeating me there. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. What can we do? We're going to hop on board of Alex Albon, who immediately has a wild show on the inside also. Stroll's taken a penalty. Str I didn't even know. Stroll has taken a penalty. He's already directly behind Pacher. It is Albon, Joe, Pacher, Stroll. I assume Stroll took a penalty. Either that or he had an awful start. Either way, it, it is the, the Williams-Aston Martin battle going on. Stroll was P8, so he just had a bad start. We, things you love to see. Things you love to see. I assume everyone's on softs. Verstappen on mediums, Bottas on mediums. Don't know what to make of that. That could... I mean, it's going to allow them to push harder. The tyres were marginal, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, yeah. Penalties aren't in the sprint. Valid point. Albon has already vanished away from Joe. I, is, Albon, is Albon our hope? Albon might be our hope here. DRS is about to be active, and we've already dropped Joe out of it. Which is going to make it easier for Pacher to get by. I don't want to say... I don't want to whisper it too loudly here. This looks good. This looks good. I, I really want to manage our uh, softs as well where I can. Just because they are not marginal, but you, you don't want to be running out of them. And it, it's a toasty day in Monaco. I will say now, Joe has already now caught back up to Albon, who has had not a great time here. Have I, really, is that the effect of me dropping everything on him? I guess I'll put it all back up. Stroll is not going to have DRS on the back of Pacher if things stay as they are. And Pacher is right up the anus of Joe. He's just had the fastest sector one. As Mr. Teo Pacher, if Albon could drop Joe here, it'd be massive. I don't think he's managed it. Mr. Pacher, show me you're there. Albon's going to have DRS. Pacher's going to have it as well. Can't get the move done. Right, back on neutral for now. Does Joe have DRS? He doesn't. Teo, Teo, this is your one chance for a while, mate. You have to make it stick here, Teo. You have to make it stick. This was the one. This was the banker. This is the one that had to stick. It was the one that couldn't fail. It couldn't fail. It did. It did it fail? It might not have failed yet. He's got the inside line here. Can he get ahead before the hairpin? We're deploying out of it. Teo. Teo. Teo, you can come back at him through the tunnel, mate. You can come back. Well, they're still side by side. Teo Pacheco's squeezing it out. It's very clean driving there, to be fair by them. He's made it stick. He's done it. He has pissing done it here at Monaco. Biblical seeds. Right, I am going to tell him now. Don't fight your teammate. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Oh, that was stressful. The 71 overtaking comes up trumps. Albon has already been dropped by Perez, I'm afraid to say. This has not been very eventful, has it? Why do we vote for this? I might just delete Monaco from the game next year and just pretend it was never very real. I think we're fine. Going to try and up the pace slightly here with Albon, just with the excess fuel and a full harvest with Pacher. I feel like Piastri's not that good in game chat. In-game, Piastri is not... He's massively underrated in-game. I'll say that much. But on top of that, Piastri... Um, his overall rating is massively inflated by his smoothness. At least in this save game, he's got like 97 smoothness. Like, it's like in Football Manager. Certain attributes do impact um, kind of drivers overall more than others. And smoothness is one of those that does have a bigger effect. Also, I'm going full-on conserve with Albon here. I'm bunching up our drivers intentionally here to try and get them both a bit more charge in the pack. It's genius. Sometimes my genius outstands me. Joe's here thinking, how am I going to get past these guys? He can't. He's never going to do it. Okay, I'm going to have to do some serious micromanagement here, chat. Are you ready to see some genius? I've got to time this to perfection. 
We need to let Pacher through, but not let Joe through. Great move, lads. Expertly done. Expertly done. Now, Albon can conserve. Pacher pushes. And we basically do what we did before, but the other way around. And Pacher now has a full pack to full send it at the end. If we want to have a go late on. On Perez. Although Perez is so far up there. I think it's less of a factor. It's strategy. You might not like it. Strategy. Has to be done. Okay, well, Verstappen is about to win the sprint race. For YouTube watchers thinking, was that it? Yeah, that was it. That was it. You've watched the highlights. That you, You've not had to live through it. Living through it was something else. I feel like my granddad talking about the war. Yeah, living through it, completely different to the whole reading of how in your history books. It was painful. It was bad. I didn't have fun. I feel kind of sad. But... So Red Bull 1, 2, Ferrari 3rd and 4th. Perez is going to bring it home for Mercedes. Pacher, I am going to just let, be let him be ahead of Albon. It's one point. It's not worth risking swapping them back at this point. And we get five points, which is big for us in the Constructors because we are directly fighting against Aston Martin. And for the race tomorrow, we start 6th and 7th, which could be worse. Could be worse. I mean, that was one of the F1 races of all time. Let's hope tomorrow's better. Bloody hell. Okay, folks, we're going to go with the soft, hard strategy. That is the plan. Let's get into the Monaco Grand Prix. It can't be worse than the sprint race. It can't be. It can't be. 78 more laps. Bloody hell. What an excited time. Oh, Albon. Look at that livery. Can we, discuss, can we discuss that livery? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Big fan. Here we are. Let's go. Hopefully it's better than the sprint race for everyone's sanity. Racy off the start. Let's not lose any places. Let's gain some places if we can. What strategy are people on? Lots of hard runners. Both Astons on the mediums behind us. I've heard a crash. There's a yellow flag. Leclerc's got a penalty? Why has Leclerc got the penalty? Who hit who? What happened? Have the Red Bulls hit you? Oh, it's Leclerc into a Ferrari. Ooh, ooh. Charlie Leclerc, you naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Oh, George Russell's livid. George is livid. George is fuming. I wonder if he's got damage. Okay, Bashir is behind Albon, so we're going to tell him to not fight. So Leclerc's got a penalty. Did also slightly cook his tyres. Russell's got damage potentially as well. Do I want to get past these guys on the hard or do we want to just follow them on the softs? I've also got to be a bit paranoid about the Astons behind. If, they, if the Astons won hards, we'd just continue pushing here and see what we can do. I mean, Leclerc crushing it has just said, let Verstappen vanish up the road on mediums. Congratulations, Max Verstappen, on winning the Monaco Grand Prix for 2025. If, I mean, if Albon overtakes here, he is kind of leaving his little brother behind, but it also probably makes the race more entertaining. Sainz is trying to have a go on, Verst uh, on Verstappen. No, on Leclerc. We'll focus on this battle just for the moment. Oh, my word. I'm still trying to micromanage my race behind. I'm doing a great job. Great multitasking. Wait, Albon's got past. He's not got past yet. Albon, continue to send it, mate. How did he manage that? I didn't think he was going to be able to do that. He was so far back going up the hill. I think that is just the difference in the softy and the mediums. Now, now I've got to hope. I mean, he hasn't got the move done there, has he? When they've shown that highlight. Leclerc might have some damage as well, actually, from being squeezed against the wall. That's a valid point. I think I have to push Bashir here, try and get him past Perez as well. It's going to be tricky for him. Don't let me down, Teo. Don't let me down. Get right up his chuff. He's not going to have DRS here, I don't think. Pack's on the low side now. Good management, Jack. You're, you are a smart human being. Has anyone ever told you that? Not nearly enough. Jack, but, you know, internal Jack, if you want to pick me up some more, mate, would appreciate it. We, we are quite intelligent in this establishment. My word, look at us go. Look at us go. Fifth and sixth. 
back off. And yeah, Signs is dropping Leclerc. So Leclerc is definitely carrying some damage here. Tire short term. Okay. Russell is pretty close to Charlie Leclerc here. They're going to fight through turn one. I'm scared. If Russell gets by, it suddenly becomes essential that we get by. And he has got by. Right. Leclerc's got damage. Leclerc could be a great little doorstop for us to block things up behind us if we can get by him with both our drivers. I guess that has to be the aim here. I need Russell, though, to clear Leclerc out of DRS. Otherwise, we are not catching him. I mean, we will catch him. We just won't be able to make the overtake happen. Leclerc doesn't have DRS here. I've got to send it this lap with Albon. I think we can get him. Okay, Pachette. Mate, now it becomes important that you get the overtake done as well next lap. Assuming Albon's going to make this stick up the road, I'm backing him to do it. He has done it. Good job, you big, big boy. Right, Teo, you've watched your big brother do it. Now you need to do it too. Let's watch it again. Alexander Albon, you beautiful man. That is the soft versus a Red Bull on hards with a damaged front wing, to be fair. Oh, Leclerc's pitting. Scratch that. Leclerc has had enough. He is going on to a two-stopper. They've seen him losing time. They're putting him on mediums. Probably going to go medium soft then. Okay, Albon, mate. I know you're looking up the road. We need to help out your little brother here. We need to help him out. You need to slow down your car. We've got to work together. As much as I want you to full send it and catch Russell, it's a team game. How are we lapping compared to the Ferraris at the road? We're, we're lapping half a second faster than Ferraris, and I feel like with you two together, we can make up the time we've lost going slow on purpose. Jack, I love you, and you're my favorite streamer. Please times four or times eight. My lack of attention span is effed, but you're entertaining. For using the wrong type of your, I, I will pause and, and just admire the digger. Great JCB, innit? So look at that. Look at the attention that went into that model. Someone at Frontier modelled that van and they thought no one would ever look at it. And here we are, just in enjoying it together. The wheels aren't very circular. You can see the lines on the poly of the models. They could improve that a little bit. Also, would a JCB in Monaco have pressure in English written on it? I feel like it'd be in French. But, you know, I'm just, I don't want to complain about realism. Also, look, so we had to hand place those people on the balcony. I, 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 there's a lot of love and care that's gone into this game. And I feel like we should admire it all. Like, look at this rock texture. Like, they've even put the little fittings where the lights sit in the wall. That is... That is... It's high quality here. I mean, look at this. They've got the individual bolts on the sign. Really appreciating this. Really feel... Really feel like we don't, you know, we don't appreciate this enough in the moment. Like, the little grandstand here where people stood up cheering. It's good, good game development. They've got the wall where they're doing the, the marina expansion thing. This used to be like the sea neck on the other side of this wall, but they're, I think they're building like fake land over it. So the fact they've got that in the game, very impressive. Trees up here. I reckon if we watched an onboard on YouTube, do you reckon there's a tree up there that we can see? Like probably. Now, has anyone counted? Has any... Have we, has anyone counted the number of lights in the tunnel to make sure it's correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty three. If I just twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. No, I didn't pause. It was the third window. We'll get it on the next lap. We'll, we'll get it on the next chat. Remind me on the next lap. I oh, didn't. I misclicked the pause button. 56, 57, 58, 59, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. The chat's moving. I'm ignoring you. I've got to keep counting here. 45. 40, no, that was 55. Chat, what number was I on? 55, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 60, 61, 62, 63, Free, 263, 263 is the number of lights in the Monaco tunnel. 263. And people think I have a short attention span. I need to count the other side now. Okay, Bashir's in the pits. Teo, mon ami, my friend. Get on the hards, looking for a nice little gap for you to come out in here. The dream is really... Where is the dream? Ahead of Danny Rick behind Bottas wouldn't be terrible. Ahead of Bottas is... Uh, sorry, ahead of Danny Rick is what we're looking for here. Lots of clean air to bot us up the road. Danny Rick's coming through here. We don't have to do the corner. I think we are going to come out behind Danny Rick. Barely. Okay. Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. Although Ocon is on softs. So that's not too bad, actually. This pit lane's long, in it? Tail, get your tyres up to temp, lad. Are we going to come out ahead of Danny Rick? Ultras, I'm looking at you to give us a mega stop here. It's not great. It's not great, I'll be honest. It might be our only stop of the day. Busy pit exit. Busy pit exit. Understatement of the year. Oh, I'm getting day. Is anyone else getting deja vu here? Anyone else getting deja vu? Are we going to come out ahead of Ocon? No, we've been very gentlemanly there with Ocon in an annoying way, really. All that effort. All that effort by Albon to push there for naught. It's okay, though. We're now into the patient stint. Come on, Ocon. Give us a wave. Ocon, Ocon, give us a wave. Ocon. Give us a wave. Ocon, Ocon, give us a wave. Ocon, give us a wave. Ocon, Ocon. He's done it. Okay, that's good for us. That is, that is dreamy timing. Because it means by the time we get... Into range on Danny Rick. We have got Magnuson to worry about, but Magnuson's on fresh mediums as well, right? I say fresh. They're not fresh anymore, but he pitted early for them, and he'll be stopping again. If we clear Danny Rick, the rest of the race is very, very... I don't want to say very, very simple, but it becomes simpler. Can we get the Duble move done? They said it couldn't be done, but we're going to try it. Norris is in the pits. That is Albon up the road. He's going to try and make the move up the inside on Daddy Rick. Bashir's now going to try and follow his friend through. Teo, surely not. Teo, th this is not a place to overtake, Teo. Teo, this is, you're not meant to do this here. Teo, you're, you're really not meant to do this here, mate. But I'm going to back it from you. Be sensible, Teo. Easy, Tiger. We get him next lap, Teo. Teo, we get, we get him on the next DRS zone. Although, for that to happen, Albon kind of needs to get up the road here. There is a wild Kevin Magnussen behind us as well. It's very nervy here. Danny Rick has no DRS here. Charles. Uh, Charles. We don't have Charles. Pichet, the other, the other French bloke. I know Leclerc's not French, but the, the other guy who speaks French. No, not, not Ocon. Not Ocon. Our boy. Teo Pichet. Mon frere. Let's go. That's what we needed. That's what we're here for. He just wanted to do it in style. He just wanted to play some sexy F1. He's got the move done. Now we need Danny Rick to hold up the guys behind. Verstappen, by the way, pits for hards to the end. Gets so much cleaner. Disgusting. Wish we were that quick. You're in season four with Williams with Lando and Gasly. Oh, my chat wanted to get Lando. T t lie to my chat and tell them all that Lando's been absolutely awful for you and isn't worth the money. Nice Please, just, even if it's not true, just lie. I know we've never met, so me asking a stranger to lie on my behalf, it, is, it might be seen as sketchy, but I just, I need the favour. Okay, good news. 
We've got past Bottas quickly. Now we need Teo to do the exact same this next lap. That's got to be the dream. All right, Teo. Teo, mon ami, my friend. My my French friend. I don't know where I was going. I was going to say lover, but that felt a bit intense. Teo, mate, looking at you, making eye contact, staring at you across the Starbucks. Make it happen for me, son. We need to move this lap. The longer we are trapped... Behind Bottas, the worse it looks for us. Up the inside, the little fakey fake, the little fakey fake. We look, everyone like that. Everyone stood up and clapped. We've cleared him. Right. Albon, slow down. You've got to let your little brother, Teo Pacher, catch up now. I know he's a bit slow behind you. But as the responsible adult of the team, you do actually have to help him here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Teo, mate, you really need to hurry up here. I know we're trying to save you a little bit. He's going to be out of range this lap. It's fine. G gives Albon a chance to save on everything. How's confidence look of it looking? Very high and high. I feel like it should be higher running in 5th and 6th. And a net 4th and 5th. But here we are. How much are Ferrari losing per lap? Let's have a look. Uh, difficult to know because I was obviously stamping on the brakes and stuff. With Albon last lap so Pacher could catch up. But Pacher should be a good indicator here. I think of the kind of lap time we're hoping for. Uh, probably a mid-132. We're making up maybe half a second on the Ferraris lap. Obviously, they're going to have softs at the end. Yellow flag. Oh, God, no. Contact turn one. Stroll crashed. Fantastic news. Aston Martin are one point behind us. Is this... Is that Bottas? Valtteri. Oh, he's just hit the wall. Well, he's damaged his front wing. The unlucky Lance. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was that was that was unnecessary, wasn't it? But <laughs> okay, no, no, okay. Back to the race. Back to the. Uh, I mean, if he's got damage, that's probably going to mean that he, being at the front of the train, he's going to hold a lot of people up. Magnussen's got to pit again. Ocon's got to pit again. Bottas is yet to pit. Oh, Stroll mudded his tyres as well. Every, everyone like that. How is Mick Schumacher 17 seconds behind Leclerc with Halger and Maloney behind? Oh, Stroll's pitting. Can someone get out, out the world's smallest violin? Changing the nose, put it on mediums, putting him out into traffic. Oh, what a shame for our rivals. What a shame for them. I, for one, am heartbroken. Ocon's pitted. Ocon has pitted. He's slapped on the mediums. He's going mediums to the end. We are going to come out ahead of him, right? Should do. Also, Bashir, not in DRS. This is what I get for not microing every lap. This is what happens when you speed the game up. Oh, my God. We're well clear on Ocon. If Magnussen could get ahead of him, it would be great. It's not going to happen. All right, Bashir, hurry up, mate. Come on. Catch it with Albon. I'm making him Arvish just so you can catch him through the lap. There's a yellow flag. Red flag. Red flag. That could change everything. That could change. There's a who's out. Oh, it's, it, it might be getting spicy. It's Valtteri Bottas and is that Danny Rick? That's Valtteri Lang. Why is he decided to park? Okay, so here's the issue. Albon doesn't have a fresh set of softs. Do I want seventy-four percent one softs? For 24 laps. That's too many laps. That's too... 100% we... one softs lasted for... I can't do it on album. But... Here's the curveball. Here's the curveball, my friends. Because... 94% one softs on Teo Pacher. Tap your head. Tap your head. We, we've got to give Teo, Teo positions here. But if the other teams don't have softs, it could be interesting. If they do have softs, I'll pray for Albon. Okay, we're picking up where we left off. They're all on me. Are they on mediums? Chat, are they on mediums? Lando's on softs. Off you go, Teo. Off you go, son. You are free. Teo is a free house elf. He's on the some softs. He's attacking. What a Ferrari on. Russell's on fresh softs. Norris is on fresh softs. That's going to be scary for us. 
Albon, you're not meant to be fighting him, mate. Chill. Alex! Let's use the overtake. Copy. He's on, don't fight. What are you doing? You've got Norris on fresh softs behind you, you absolute watermelon. I'm calm. I'm fine. Everything's okay. He's not listened to me there. He's like a division agent in the division one. He's gone rogue. That's a very niche reference. I'm not sure why we're whipping out the division references in 2023, but here we are. Oh my God, there's been another crash. There's another red flag. There's another red flag. What's happening? What the heck? What happened? It was directly behind us. It's Norris on his fresh softs as well. Oh. Oh. Always rated Monaco. No, that's a broken nose, isn't it? <laughs> so what now? Uh, we're losing laps here, I realise. Is Joe out as well? Well, you know what? We've got another set of fresh... Alex, you can have more fresh mediums, mate. Okay, Ocon and Norris are out. Joe's fine, but he did get his tyres a bit screwed up unless they were already used. Leclerc's slowly climbing here, isn't he? Okay. We're back in fourth. We're back in fifth. I'm getting deja vu. It is lights out and away we go. At least I don't have to mess around with the instructions this time. Imagine if there's a turn one crash now. Don't imagine it. We don't want it. I am pushing Albon here, by the way. I want second. I've decided that I would quite like second. It's going to be difficult. Singapore Grand Prix is one of my favourites, though. If you're not planning on watching it, make sure you're watching it. It's always good. Full deploy. We've had incidents where cars crash intentionally. People get on the track. That's, you know, that probably shouldn't happen, but it's happened before. Okay. Oh, my word. Albon? Albon? Alex? Alex! Alex! Alex, you're stressing me out here, Alex. 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 Alex, I'm trying to remain calm, but you're doing weird things and it scares me. Alex! Is he still ahead? Ah! It's fine. We get the line here, surely. Get the line, drop him, deploy through here. It's done. Right. Next up the road is Russell, and Russell is on. Well, he's on. So I want to say his softs, softs are cooked. They are not cooked at all. We're on a podium. How's that happened? Also, tell you, you do need to manage your tyres still a little bit, mate. Alexander Albon is doing Albon things for us again. A podium at Monaco in our car season three. That would be biblical. Brand Gabriel has redeemed a Mick Cam chat. I have to watch Mick Schumacher for 30 seconds here. I'm really sorry. I have to do it. We're here till 40 seconds. Can Albon get him? He's got DRS. Go on, Albon. Go on, close the gap. Stare at the dots. Will it turn into a two? How many laps are left? It's gone into a two. I've missed the overtake because I have to watch this stupid channel point redemption. Albon's in second. I repeat, Albon is in second. Is he? He's not in second anymore. He's not. Well you know, P2, 40. I can go. Come on, George. Crash, George. Crash. Don't give it up, Albon. Don't give it up. Oh, he's, give it, he's given up there. He's given up there. Oh, God. That was... That was stressful. Do we go for the all or nothing approach here? Because I think if you if we get ahead of him on the straight, he can't come back at us. But I will have no... I will have no charge. We have to do it. Come on, Albon. Send that last little bit of VRS. It's the last lap here at Monaco. Oh, we're just a bit too far back. His softs are fast. Up the hill, I want to say this might be our last chance to have a proper go at him. I want to say it's possible. I know it's unlikely. I'm scared they're going to crash. But if they crash, Bashir gets a podium. So it's a win-win. That's what I'm telling myself. I know, mate. I know. I know, Pop it. There's nowhere really to overtake here, is there? It's Monaco. It's Monaco. There's nowhere to... There's there's nowhere to make it happen. We have no charge in the pack. It's done. 
It's a valiant attempt by Albon, but it's it's not going to be valiant enough, I'm afraid to say. Unless... No, that, that, that is not, it's not happening. Oh, my word. Albon, come on. Through the last couple of corners. I want to believe in you, Alex. Give me something to hold on to. We can't do it. It's a, it's a nice try. It's a third and a fifth at Monaco in Williams season three. It's a biblical performance. Massive by Albon. It's going to be Bashir's best ever finish in Formula One as well. That will go under the radar a little bit. But give that man a coconut. Give him some credit for that performance. That is a brilliant weekend for us. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, that's it. It's a good weekend. Now, I am aware I did have Albon on medium overtake aggression because he was on medium confidence. I didn't want him to go for some stupid lunge at Monaco. At another circuit, I might have gambled more, but I remembered the engine parts chat. Remember the engine parts at the start of the race? I know it feels like a long time ago. They've survived. Oh, the flute. The, the pissing flute. Can I get the... F Where's the flute? Is it going to play? Oh, let's go. I'm ready. I look very coordinated, don't I? Pirelli hat with the Dortmund shirt. Come on! Biblical scenes. Come on! Come on! Let's go! I don't have any champagne, I have a bottle of Prosecco. Come on! Come on! I really match. I'm so colour coordinated. I probably shouldn't shake this too much. Come on! Come on! I matched the bananas today, I've just realised. Absolute biblical scenes here. Third and fifth in Monaco! What did we just do? What did we just do? Come on! What did we just do? Alexander Albon gets a podium with a free stopper at Monaco. Yuki up seven places, to be fair. As for Aston Martin, ninth for Joe. It's unfortunate, isn't it? And uh, where's Lance? Lancekins, what happened there? What happened there in the driver standings? Albon's up to sixth. Hold the pissing phone and Teo, Teo's up to 10th as well. 25 points, not too shabby. In terms of the constructors, here it is. We get a 27 point jump on Aston Martin. Maybe we should be looking upwards. Maybe I should be looking up at Mercedes at this point. I'll tell you what, Hugo Boss. Imagine if Hugo Boss go, go on to be the worst team on the grid but with the best pit stops. They've had, they had a biblical weekend. We've got points. Six points for the Pacher stop, two for the Albon stop. Didn't gain ground on uh, Red Bull there. Hugo Boss up to fifth, head of Ferrari. Uh, Haas and McLaren yet to get any points in that. In real life, McLaren, I believe, are third in the DHL standings, if you're wondering. Uh, <laughs> if we look at the overtakes and defends here, what happened? Uh, five successful overtakes for Albon, five successful defends, and then for Teo, five successful defends. No failed defends, three successful overtakes. Yeah, it wasn't... I mean, it was Monaco, so there wasn't going to be a lot of overtaking, really, was there anyway? I don't think I'm doing any more upgrades this season, which I know is probably going to bite me in the bite me in the foot, is what I was about to say. <laughs> it's gonna, maybe going to shoot me in the foot. But with the massive reg changes for 2026, very tempted just to stick with our current parts. Do I want to do that? I did do a lot of research last year that we're not really going to be making the most of. If I take that approach, is that wise? I'm I'm doubting myself now. Doesn't sound like me, does it? Yeah, I know. I mean, never doubt myself, me. So we've got all these bits being made, which are backups. See, I'm I'm a full blown research Andy. Do I need research? Do I need to develop more parts? Because because of the voting this year, you guys obviously voted on the sprint races. Because five of the all five sprint races are in the first eleven races of the season. I've kind of targeted them early. But does that mean I need the upgrades later? Because there's going to be less points on offer in the second half of the season. And for people who haven't seen it yet, there is massive reg changes next year. Like, they're going to completely tank. 
pretty much every single part sees massive reductions in performance. Side pods are the ones that are really getting murdered, but everything is getting destroyed. 